Hi, this is Kane Day, and I'm coming to you from the YouTube channel Self Developers. I would like to share with you one of my favourite childhood movies. That movie is called Pollyanna. The reason why I want to share that film with you is because it carries a very important message. Now, for those of you who have never heard or seen this film, it's based around this young girl called Pollyanna and she moves to, um, well, she ends up living with her auntie, um, uh, Mrs. Harrington, because her parents unfortunately passed away. Now, her auntie has a town named after her called the Harrington Town. And it's also controlled by her auntie. But she moves into the town and she literally changes the whole vibe of that town. That town was kind of regimented, very um, gloomy in a sense. There's some sort of sad elements. Even the church services were um, like condemned you know so she came into the town and she sprinkles a little bit of happy dust and the point of this reference is that Pollyanna aside from it being her name is actually a word to describe somebody who is excessively excessively optimistic she literally sees the bright side of life now there's a scene in the film where she shares with with one of the other characters that she wanted a doll for Christmas and um, she was sent from a charity she was sent um, some crutches now she became a little upset about it but her father who was alive at the time said to her why don't we play the glad game and she replied the glad game yeah, the glad game. How does that work? So he explained to her, the glad game is basically, so you've got these crutches, but you should be glad that you don't actually have to use them. So she started to think like, yeah, what else can I apply um, that sort of theory to? So she literally, when she arrived at the town, when someone had something negative to say, like there was a lady that was always thinking of death, and she showed her how to play the glad game and said, well, why don't you say, I'm glad that I'm living and I'm enjoying life right now. So she took that on and her whole mindset changed and she literally started to live again. So from thinking about death and actually having herself measured up for a coffin to suddenly being I'm alive and I'm actually enjoying this time. So again, the reason why I use this reference is because playing a glad game is like playing a gratitude list game. Now, how often do we go through life thinking about the negative things instead of the positive things? How well does thinking positive, sorry, how well does thinking negative not serve you? What do you do to stay in that state of mind of being positive? One of the things that I find very helpful is actually doing a gratitude list. When you express wholeheartedly how grateful you are, you feel this overwhelming feeling of love and that extra energy of I can do anything try it give it a go I promise you it's the best thing so every morning after I've meditated I write down in my journal what I'm grateful for I write down that I'm grateful to be alive I'm grateful to be alive because I get another opportunity to make an impact. You see, I've not always loved myself. But as the time's gone by, I've learned to love myself fully and appreciate the good things in life, 
no matter what's happened, I always, always am grateful that I'm alive because I get the chance to start again. Do you remember the Hetch-a-Sketch? Hetch-a-Sketch where you just shake that game and you can just literally write or draw another picture. That's how I view every day. I get to start again and make a new impact. So what I want to bring home to you is that there is so much power in being grateful for all the things that you have in life. But when you actually embrace the gratitude, so many other amazing things happen. Being grateful that I have a roof over my head, that may seem like a, a small thing, but it's, it's great. In this day and age, with the high rate of poverty, I'm certainly grateful to have a roof over my head. I'm also grateful to be able to have a meal when I choose to eat. That isn't always possible for people. So I try not to take anything for granted. Let me ask you this question. This glass here, what do you see? Are you someone that sees this glass as half full or half empty? If you see this glass as half empty, you're somebody that generally feels or views things from a place of lack. That's fine. But it's so easy just to switch your mind and go, actually, you know what? This glass is half full and I'm grateful. Try looking at things from a positive perspective because I'll tell you something, it really, really helps. It helps in the sense that you're able to fill your cup up. Fill your cup up with so much love that then you're able to help other people. But if you're coming from a place of, like I said, lack, how are you able to help other people that are in a similar position? It's only when you see the beauty of what you have or what, who you are that you're then able to serve other people. So take on the principles of Pollyanna and be glad for all that you have because you could have far less. I've been Kane Day and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have, please like it, please share it and have a super, super blessed day.